Joining us right now is one of the authors of that letter, Massachusetts Congresswoman Lori Trahan. And Congresswoman, thank you for being here today. It's good to see you. It's great to see you. Thank you. So I know that you had questions for, for Mark Zuckerberg when he appeared on the Hill uh, back in the spring. Um, a lot of those questions centered around teens' well-being, kids' well-being in using an app like uh, Instagram or Facebook. What did you think reading this article? Uh, well, look, the internal documents that were published this week uh, show that Mark Zuckerberg and, and high-level leaders at Facebook, they knew that Instagram was adversely affecting the mental health of our young users, especially our young girls. Uh, at, but they took little to no action uh, to rever reverse their course. And look, that's not just negligence, and that's outright neglect. Uh, and we know that it goes back years. So, you know, I'm a mom of two young girls. Uh, they're seven and 11. And like a lot of moms, you know, whether it's in my community or across this country, we have serious concerns about how uh, social media is going to impact them. And this report, you know, just put punctuation uh, on that for, for all of us. Yeah, I, I, some of these uh, things that they had in this internal research, some of the slides that they had internally said things like, we make body images issues worse for one in three teen girls. Uh, this was a 2019 slide. Another one said, teams blame Instagram for the rate of anxiety and depression. This is unprompted and consistent against, against all groups. And they even said that 13% of British users and 6% of U.S. users trace their desire to kill themselves back, back to Instagram. And, and again, these are internal findings. Um, I, I credit Facebook with actually doing this research, but um, these are findings from 2019, and I don't know what we have seen them do differently since that time. You know, to hear you read uh, those fi findings, it's as appalling as the first time, you know, I read them. Uh, and it just calls into question, you know, their future plans. I mean, right now, the last thing Facebook should be doing is developing additional services engineered specifically for uh, children who are even younger. Uh, they should be focused on making, you know, their services safe for the tens of millions of young users who are already using them. And, and let's be clear about how this report got out uh, into the public domain. You know, it took courageous employees of Facebook who knew what was going on to, to blow the whistle. Um, and so the fact that the alarm has been sounding inside the company for years uh, with leaders at the highest level doing nothing, um, I think it, it calls into question, uh, you know, the motivation of the company and, uh, and the, you know, their plans for targeting users even younger than uh, the users that are are using Instagram today. Very quickly, the company's response to this, it, it was a long one. We'll put, to put it up on the screen for you. They, they said that basically the Wall Street Journal cherry-picked this information, took only uh, some of the data that they had been doing internally and uh, looked for the negative light on these things. They say sometimes social media works for good, sometimes it works for bad. Your response to that would be? Yeah, well, I think when Mark Zuckerberg testified before our committee in March, he cherry picked uh, the research that he uh, he brought to bear um, because he thinks that platforms can have a positive effect on the mental health benefits. And the burden is on him uh, and and Facebook uh, and Instagram to show how they're actually going to embrace uh, age appropriate design, how they're actually going to take this information and uh, and make sure that they're not going to harm our 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 youngest users because they're more uh, interested in in record breaking profits. And so it's the reason why we sent a letter yesterday with two of my other colleagues mm -hmm. demanding uh, answers, um, yeah. demanding when they knew of this research, demanding them to release this research and abandoning their plans to launch Instagram for kids. Yeah, I, I think if